So here I am on August 3rd, 2017 at one of my favorite places in the whole world. Right here on the edge of Clear Creek in Golden, Colorado. You'd never know it in August, but it's 57 degrees and chilly. So chilly I knew I had to break out my winter wool coat. It's really good to be here. I was thinking about something that happened to me on June 18, 2017, about a half a mile from here, downstream on the creek. I've been working with some men in a small group for the better part of six months, working through some material. Uh, it's a series called Restoring Your Heart. And it's uh, study material that you do in a small group setting with a handful of other men. And we were about to finish the second of three parts. Um, I had realized in the course of unpacking some emotional burdens that I've been carrying for a long time that <clears throat> some of the hurts and disappointments and uh, life-changing experiences I've had, I carried with me like a piece of baggage. And I would talked to several men about it and we all got kind of a kick out of what I refer to as being a gunny sack. And what I realized is something that I'd heard from somebody else many years ago about don't ever let yourself become a gunny sacker is exactly what I had become. You might know that a gunny sack is a old fashioned country term for what used to be a feed bag made out of burlap, usually 50 pounds, sometimes bigger. But, um, I had a guy tell me one time years and years ago that life can treat you rough sometimes and there's nothing fair about it. And along the way, if you have hurts and disappointments, you can carry them with you like you just wanted to pick up one of these river rocks here and put it in a sack that you carry over your shoulder. And if you don't learn how to leave those disappointments along the pathway of life and leave them behind you, then you carry them with you. And if you've got any kind of zest for life, you take some risks and you take some chances and sometimes they work out and sometimes they don't. But what I've done over the years is I've accumulated what you might call a whole bunch of emotional rocks in a gunny sack and you don't see it but they're there and that sack is over my shoulder just like I was carrying a bag full of rocks. So <clears throat> some things that have happened to me the last couple of years had me to the point where I knew I was sick and tired of being sick and tired and some things needed to change so a week or two before June 18, 2017, which happened to be Father's Day, I picked a big river rock and carried it around for a few days just to see what it was like to carry a real rock as opposed to this figurative rock that I've been telling you about. And I realized as I was trying to decide which rock in my gunny sack I wanted to get rid of first, because I'm going to start getting rid of some of my rocks. I couldn't put my finger on whether it was uh, my third divorce or not having access to my children after my second divorce or my first divorce from my high school sweetheart or whether it was uh, being fired by a big energy company that I worked for and, and loved because I refused to go along with the uh, big massive fraud that they had going on, financial fraud to the tune of a billion dollars. And as I was looking through my bag full of rocks trying to decide which one to get rid of, I realized what I wanted to get rid of was the sense that I'm carrying all that past with me because it takes an awful lot of energy to carry all those rocks and to manage them along with everything else that life's got in store for me on a day-by-day -day basis. So 
I'm happy to share with you that on June 18, 2017, when this river, when this creek was, if it were as high then as it is, if it was as high now as it was then, we'd be up to our waist in it. It was that much deeper because of the winter snow melt. But I found a nice place about a half mile downstream and I took that great big rock and walked out to the edge of the creek and chunked it right in the middle of a deep, fast, rapids drop. And I decided that I was going to unburden myself from the, from the guilt and the shame and the what ifs and the could have beens, would have beens, should have beens. And then I was going to start taking the next day of life without carrying that particular rock. And it felt good to get rid of it. I've been carrying it a long time. And the reason I was able to get rid of it is because the small men's group study that I was involved in allowed me to confront and deal with the reality that all those things that were hurts and disappointments and betrayals where I felt like I'd let somebody down or let my Lord down or let myself and my family down, that I'd ask for forgiveness from all that from my Lord. And His Word is true. I know that he had forgiven me, but what I was carrying that rock for is because I hadn't forgiven him. And throwing that rock in the creek was symbolic of me forgiving myself.